Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation. In this video we are going to show how to create a backup image for a Raspberry Pi. The idea is that we have a Raspberry Pi, here we have a Raspberry Pi 0 W, and then we have in our Raspberry all the necessary software, we have installed our operating system, we have installed and configured all the software including the configuration of the Raspberry, the FTP uh, server and so on. So we have everything ready and running in our Raspberry Pi 0 W and we want to create an image so with this image we can have a backup of our operating system with all the software included and then if anything happens in our system then we can restore it and also we can use this image if we want to replicate our system in other Raspberry Pi so we can use it again in other applications. So for this task I recommend this program Win32 Disk Imager which is a free software that allows us to create images and you can get information about this program here on this link and also you can download the program also from this link here. Basically Win32 Disk Imager is a Windows program for saving and restoring images from removable drives like USB drives and memory cards and so on. But it can also be used to write boot images to a SD flash device or to a USB flash device and make it bootable. So it is very interesting for this application. So the first step is to create the image from our SD card. So we, for this we only have to take our SD card and insert it in our computer and run Win32 Disk Imager and create the image in three simple steps. The first step is to enter the name of the image to be created and the path where it be, will be stored here in this input of the program. Second is to select the card with the Raspberry Pi operating system that we want to create the image from. And finally we only have to click read and wait until the process is finished. So let's see an example of how to do this in real life. I have here the program running. I enter here the name of the file which is going to be like this. Select here the device corresponding to our SD card, in this case is E, and just click on read to create the corresponding image. So we can see that the program starts creating the image, so we only have to finish and then we will have the image ready. Once we have created our image, then we can write it to another SD card so we can use it in another Raspberry Pi. So for this, again, is a three steps procedure. In this case, first we choose the image file to be written on the SD card. Then again, select the device in which we can write the image. And finally, we only have to click on write in order to complete the process. You can see that we have other possibilities. We can do only the verification and we have other possibilities. Once we have our file here, we can create or obtain the hash code, the security code for our file in order to have the possibility to check that our file has not been corrupted or modified. Now let's see how to do this process in real life. First we are going to check that we have our image correctly generated in our folder so we can see it here and now we can run the program write here the name of the image. If we like we can test the hash generation. We can select one of these possibilities for example SHA1 and click on generate. So 
So we have here our hash code. We can copy and paste and then save it for the future. And now in order to write the image in a new SD card, we insert the card in our computer, select the corresponding device here, in this case E, and click on write. We get this warning here, so we have to be sure that we want to do the writing, so we can click yes. And then we only have to wait until all the process is finished. Take our SD card and insert it in a new Raspberry Pi so we can use our operating system again. Well, this is all in this video today. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next one. Goodbye now.